Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Manage Risk Across Your Extended Attack Service Area with Armis Asset Intelligence Platform. I'm John Furrier, your host. We're here with the CISO Perspective, Alex Shuckman, who is the CISO of Colgate, Colgate Palmolive Company. Alex, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. You know, unified visibility across the enterprise surface area is about knowing what you got to protect. You can't protect what you can't see. Tell me more about how you guys are able to centralize your view with network assets with Armis. Yeah, I think the, the most important part of any security program is really visibility. And, and that's one of kind of the building blocks when you're building a security program. You need to understand what's in your environment, what's what you can control, what is being introduced new into the environment. And that's really what any solution that gives you full visibility to your infrastructure, to your environment, to all the assets that are there, that, that's really one of your bread and butter pieces to your security program. What's been the impact on your business? You know, I, I think from, from an IT point of view, running the security program, you know, our key thing is really enabling the business to do their job better. So if we can give them visibility into all the assets that are available in their individual environments, and we're doing that in an automated fashion with no manual collection, you know, that's yet another thing that they don't have to worry about. And then we're delivering because really IT is an enabler for the business. And then they can focus really on what their job is which is to, to deliver product. Yeah, and a lot of changes in their network. You got infrastructure, you got IOT devices, OT devices. So vulnerability management becomes more important. It's been around for a while, um, but it's not just IT devices anymore. There are gaps in, in vulnerability across the OT network. What can you tell us about Colgate's use of Armis's vulnerability management? Um, what, can you, what can you see now? What you couldn't you see before? Can you share uh, your thoughts on this? Yeah, I, I think what's really interesting about the the kind of manufacturing environments today is if you look back a number of years, most of the manufacturing equipment was really disconnected from the internet. It was really running in silos. So it was very easy to protect equipment that, that isn't internet connected. You could put a firewall, you could segment it off, and it was it was really on an island on its own. Nowadays, you have a lot of IoT devices, you have a lot of internet connected devices, sensors providing information to multiple different suppliers or vendor solutions. And you have to really then open up your ecosystem more, which of course means you have to change your security posture and you really have to embrace if there's a vulnerability with one of those suppliers then how do you mitigate the risk associated to that vulnerability? Armist really helps us get a lot of information so that we can then make a decision with our business teams. That whole operational aspect of criticality is huge. How, on the assets, knowing what's what's key. How has that changed your the, the security workload for you guys? Yeah, for us, I mean, it, it's all about being efficient. If we can have the, the visibility of, across our manufacturing environments, then, then my team can easily consume that information. You know, we spend a lot of time trying to digest the information, trying to process it, trying to prioritize it. That, that's, that really hurts our efficiency as, as a team or as a function. What we really like is being able to use technology to help us do that work. We're, we're not, an IT shop or a manufacturing shop, but we're a very technical shop so that we like to drive everything through automation and not be a bottleneck for any of the, the actions that take place. You know, the old expression is the juice worth the squeeze. It comes up a lot when people are buying tools around vulnerability management and all this stuff. So SaaS solution is key with no agents to deploy. They have that. Um, talk about how you operationalize Armis in your environment. How quickly did it act, achieve time to value? Take us through that, that consumption of the product and, and, and what was the experience like? 
Yeah, I'll definitely say a in, in the security ecosystem that that's one of the the biggest promises you hear uh, across the industry. And when when we started with Armis, we started with a very small deployment, and we wanted to make sure if if it was really worth the lift. To your point, uh, we implemented the the first set of plants very quickly, actually even quicker than we had uh, put in our project plan, which is is not typical for implementing complex security solutions. And then we were so successful with that, we expanded to cover more of our manufacturing plants and we were able to get really true visibility across our entire manufacturing organization in the first year with the ability to also say that we extended that, that information, that visibility to our manufacturing organization and they could also consume it just as easily as we could. That's awesome. How many assets did you guys discover? Just curious on the numbers. Oh, that, that's the really interesting part. Um, you know, before we started this project, uh, we would have had to do a, a manual audit of, of our plants, which is typical in, in our industry. Um, you know, when, when we started this project and, and we put in estimates, we really, really didn't have a great handle on what we were going to find. And what's really nice about the Armist solution is it, it's truly giving you full visibility. So you're actually seeing besides the servers and the PLCs and all the equipment that you're familiar with, you're also connecting it to your wireless access points. You're connecting it to see any of those IoT devices as well. And then you're really getting full visibility through all the integrations that they offer. You're amazed how many devices you're actually seeing across your entire ecosystem. It's like Google Maps for your infrastructure. You got a little street view, you want to look at it, you get the you know, fake tree in there, whatever. Uh, but it gives you the picture. That's key. Correct, and with a nice visualization and an easy search engine, similar to your, your Google analogy, you know, everything is, is, is really at your fingertips. If you want to find something, you just go to the search bar, click a couple uh, entries, and, and boom, you get your, your list of the associated devices or the, the associated locations devices. Well, Alfred, I appreciate your time. I know you're super busy as CSIG, a lot on your plate. Thanks for coming on and sharing, appreciate it. No problem, John. Thanks for having me.